Russian troops want Ukraine to surrender Mariupol. It sits on the eastern coast, not far from the Russian border. And to the west, Russian airstrikes targeted Lviv just yesterday, killing at least seven. But we turn now to the capital city, Kyiv. That's where we find ABC's Marcus Moore. Marcus, good to see you. You toured one of the hard-hit suburbs of the capital yesterday. What did you see? Yeah, Kenneth, those suburbs became part of the front line of this conflict, and, and we saw the aftermath. We saw uh, streets, street after street, where homes and businesses were, were destroyed. And we're talking about high-rise apartment buildings that had gaping holes in the sides of them, and then homes on the ground that were absolutely destroyed and, and leveled. Every single building seemingly had some bit of damage to it. And what we saw there on the ground also was the immediate effort to try to clean things up there and, and uh, allow people, when it is time, to get back home to a safe, a relatively safe environment. We saw them uh, trying to restore electricity in the area, and as crews were doing that, there were also uh, members of teams that were out to find and remove mines that were left behind by, by the Russians. So uh, a lot is happening here in the, the Kyiv region that, uh, again, was the site of very intense fighting as the Russians tried to advance towards Kyiv. Marcus, I've seen your incredible reporting there in the region, and I know you've met some amazing people, but you also met American firefighters helping search the rubble for survivors? Oh, we did, Kenneth. These are, most of them were from California. They were part of a volunteer organization that was formed uh, online on a Facebook page. And they have traveled here to Ukraine to assist the firefighters here as they respond to the various rocket attacks and try to put out fires and look for, for either survivors or those who've lost their lives amidst the rubble. And we spoke to one of those firefighters about why he felt so compelled to come here. And here's a bit of what he said. That's what we do as firefighters, is we want to help. And we, what drove us all to do this, we want not all the, the, the destruction and injured injuries we were seeing, they were overwhelmed. And then we saw our brother firefighters here on TV struggling and doing everything they can with little to no resources and little to no support. When you watch the news all over, they were sending aid for medical doctors, nurses, medical supplies, but nothing was, no aid was being sent to the firefighters. And that's how this mission came together, is we wanted to do what we could to help provide aid to them. That group is known as Project Joint Guardian, and they are also in the process, Kenneth, of sending uh, supplies and, and relief aid to the firefighters here throughout Ukraine. It's work they hope to continue uh, throughout the course of this, of this conflict as it, as it drags on. Kind of. Yeah, incredible work there. And you know, as our colleague James just mentioned, Marcus, Russian forces trying to storm the last holdout for the Ukrainian resistance in Mariupol. What's the latest there? How much longer can they hold out? Kenneth, the latest information we have at this point about the situation there, it, it's difficult to get information. It's not a very clear picture, but we do know, according to the city council there, they're saying that there's about a 1,000 people at the plant there, the, uh, the plant that has been the focus of, of fighting there and is really the last stand, the last holdout there in Mariupol. And we understand that the, the fighters there, they are still defending the city. But you asked how long can they hold on, and, and the answer to that question is we simply don't know. And it's one of the reasons why the Ukrainians have been requesting uh, assistance and more arms from Western governments who are willing to help. Wow, yeah, and we know a lot is at stake here if the Russians get a hold of and get control of that port city. All right, Marcus Moore and Kiev, thank you, sir. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.